Hey guys, it's Kai and welcome back to the kitchen. Why are you such a coffee cat? If you're a dummy and you know it, clap your hands. Oops. Dude, this is so good. It turned out so well, like way better than any other time that I've tried to put like hot coffee into iced coffee. I added a little bit of extra sugar before I put in the ice and I also added nutmeg and then cinnamon sugar. Maybe that's why it's just a lot of sugar. And then almond milk and that's all I did. Holy shit, that was... Anyway, I don't know if you can tell or not what we are making today of the recipe over here, but I'm sure it's blurry. And then I have all the ingredients laid out over here looking all cute, except for the flour because it looked ugly because it's spilling all over the place in just an old Walmart bag. And it doesn't matter anyway because I'm standing and like covering up the whole thing, so I don't know why I didn't just put it in the background. But anyway, I never said we were going to be logical here. <laughs> anyway, hello. I love that this has like been my new thing lately. I like every time I feel like filming, I'm just like, I'm just going to get into the kitchen and bake some shit. I don't know. It's a Saturday. All my roommates are gone from the house. So I figured why not you know what is weird I don't think I've ever filmed a video with them in the house if I wasn't in my room like telling a story time probably for the best I don't know <laughs> I'm trying out a new dry shampoo so if my hair looks like shit that's why it was cheap but it smells good so we'll see so last night was Friday the 13th it was like the full harvest moon I got a Friday the 13th tattoo this whole video was just an excuse for me to show it off <laughs> just kidding no but I am actually in love with it however I did hit it like a million times last night Friday the 13th is actually very lucky for me I was very productive and then I woke up with a lot of energy today probably Probably because of the full moon and this is the first time in like weeks that I've had any kind of energy let alone enough to get up and film and I'm just ready to do something so um these apples I got literally ages ago okay I still have three left I ate most of them from the bag which is actually pretty impressive I think but they're still fine but I just I don't feel like I'm gonna eat them and there's this recipe that I have from an old like Irish heritage cookbook is what it was called I made the recipe back in December it was like for Irish apple cake I had to double check the name it's literally so simple but I made it back in December as like a Christmas thing but the actual recipe wants you to add in like egg and walnuts and stuff like that and I made it like to the recipe then for my first time but so I figured that the best way to deal with the apples that I knew I wasn't gonna eat was to make the same thing however I don't feel comfortable eating eggs that don't come from my parents farm and I in general like I am vegan so generally I don't eat eggs anyway so I'm gonna make it vegan um and I also only have three granny smith apples instead of four I don't know whatever but I'm excited because I have all the other ingredients except for walnuts because I don't like walnuts really we're just just gonna see what happened I just I'm in a good mood I am finally filming standing up because I was able to like put it it's it's kind of a funky situation because my tripod doesn't go up enough for me to stand up normally that's why I sit most of the time and also because my decorations are like lower to the ground but anyway okay let's just get started I'm all excited forgot to grab this but at least I didn't really have to move to get it this recipe I actually have written down in my grimoire I did do like a grimoire tour so if you want to look through this you can and I believe I did go over this page but so the recipe says four tablespoons of butter one cup of sugar, one egg substitute, four Granny Smith apples cored, peeled, and diced, in this case three, <laughs> ignore the walnuts, one teaspoon vanilla extract, I don't know why I held up two for that, but we're gonna ignore the baking soda and baking powder too because I don't have those things and I'm not gonna go buy them. I'm good at baking. <laughs> half a teaspoon of cinnamon and nutmeg. We're probably gonna do half a teaspoon each. And one cup of all-purpose flour. And it says to serve with whipper ice cream. We're not gonna do that. We actually didn't even do that when I made it the first time. So let's get started, shall we? Why am I closing it before I actually, oh my God. One, two, three, four. That's half a cup. I'm gonna need to get more sugar after this. One. Half. I wanted to double check it seems so big that's what she said okay I figured this was good for like the egg substitute just like one little thing of applesauce you know it's like a nice little egg contained in a container it's also cinnamon flavored but I think it's fine because cinnamon goes in the recipe so it says one teaspoon vanilla extract but we all know that's just a suggestion so we're just gonna shoop shoop you can't do vanilla and not do the shoop. That's probably about half a teaspoon, right? <laughs> Plus, like, it's good with more spices. <laughs> See what I mean? It's it's just, like, not a very cute presentation. And that's what was weird about this recipe at first, is that it's, like, equal parts to the flour and the sugar. Like, both of them is just one cup. Like, the recipe looks like I ooped up somewhere, there are too many apples, like, this is a weird consistency. But it's right, it's just weird. We're gonna do this part before I put in the apples, because when I did it at my parents' house, there were pieces of apples just flying everywhere. We're going to be smart. Ow. That looks more like cookie dough. It's weird. 
and yummy. If you wanna know a fun thing, this is the exact knife that chopped my finger. Can you imagine it going in like that? That's what happened to my finger. So that's a nice mental image here. We're not gonna peel them because these aren't very big apples and I'm lazy. I can just hear someone in the comments going, oh God, I'm so scared you're gonna cut your finger again with that knife the way that you're holding it. Ew, I just stepped in like butter or something on the floor. I'm gonna spare you a little bit of time and I'm just gonna fast forward to when these are all done. Hi right, boys, we back. Apples are chopped. Now we're just gonna scoop a Rooney. I don't know what persona I just took on, but I don't love it. <laughs> I'm just gonna kinda do it like this because again, I really just don't want apple chunks flying everywhere. So we're gonna further the pie illusion. I've had this for way too long and it's kind of embarrassing. Probably should have used a spatula for this, but uh, it's fine. Lit. So we have this now. I think I'm gonna just add a little bit of cinnamon on top. I didn't do this last time, but I feel like it's gonna be a good idea. And then a little bit of nutmeg on top too, just so it's more balanced and shit. Oh, I'm excited. So we already did all of this stuff in the middle. It's fine, but now we're gonna preheat to 350 and then cook for about 45 minutes. First things first, always take the things out of the oven. 350. And now we wait. Mmm. <laughs> it's on, right? Okay. Good. You know, I just realized. You know, I just realized this whole time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Something still looks weird. I just realized this whole time. Every time I set this shot up, I don't actually check the focus. Something's not right about it. Why is it dark up here? <laughs> I think it's a running gag on my channel now that I will never make something that I can neatly slice and then put together on a plate. <sighs> it smells so good. So I wound up cooking it for like probably closer to 55 minutes and then I turned the oven off and let it sit in there for a few more minutes just because I was washing the dishes. Pro tip, if you don't want to clean up dishes after you're done cooking, while it's cooking, start washing the dishes. Life hack, just kidding, that's just how you should cook. But anyway, yeah, I did some cleaning, I did some dancing, and then I let it cool down. It's still a little bit warm, but it's not like crazy hot like last time because we're actually being prepared adults this time. Mm, that was aggressive, but this is, oh my god, this is so good. Oh, I'm very, very happy that I made this. Holy shit. And you know what's funny is I hate the texture of cooked apples to the point that I will not eat apple pie. I will not eat any kind of hot apples. If there's apple cider, I will scoop the apples out of it. I did that when I made apple cider, which I might also be doing another time on my channel. As you can see here, the apples are still very much like big and chunky and cooked and soft like that texture, but there's something about the cake batter around it that just balances it out enough so that it's not weird. Literally, if you don't like apple pie, try this. If you do like apple pie, try this. If you are a human with taste buds, try this. Oh my god, it's good. And this is obviously my slightly tweaked version of the recipe, but it's not like my original recipe, so I'm not gonna be sitting here like, oh my god, like I'm a chef. I almost said cook, but this is, chef doesn't even, I'm a baby. I don't know. Like I said, I'm so hype. I've been drinking coffee and dancing and singing and talking to friends and baking and I just, it's a good oops day. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm actually surprised that my roommates are still out, but I'm gonna definitely share with them this time. The pumpkin pie I didn't share partly because I stress ate almost all of one and then also because I was like, oh shit, this is like super sugary and probably they're not gonna want it. This is sugary, but it's not that sweet and it's not very sugary. Like usually, I don't know. I feel like normally there's a lot more like un healthy shit and this has apples and stuff so maybe they'll like it if not it's fine I will probably eat it and or bring it to work but mm, I'm happy I made this and I'm happy I added the cinnamon and nutmeg on top and I'm happy I filmed the experience and I'm happy I didn't forget to turn my mic back on this time I also let Ash out for a little bit because he was whining do you guys want to see him I'm gonna outro first and then we're gonna see Ash so if you want to see the puppy stay until after the credits outro <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, especially to this week's show of the week. Across the screen right here, welcome to the shit show that is my life. <laughs> we have fun. I don't, I don't know. Thank you for being active though. I love seeing your name pop up and I love you. And I swear I've been meaning to make you show of the week for like actually ages. And I finally was like, you know what? Like I said, I take the screenshots like ages ahead of time. And then I just kind of like pick from the list. And I forgot about the screenshot because I never actually sent it to my Mac. Anyway, this has been a long time coming. So thank you. I think you retweeted my video a couple of times or something. And then you're always in my notifications. So thanks, Bella. And yeah, if you want to be show of the week, all you have to do is be active with me on my social media, Twitter, Instagram, or your best bet. And also in the YouTube comments, I can start chatting you out at the end of the videos. <sighs> That's all for now. Stay spicy, my dudes, and I'll see you in the next one. Wow.
why are you such a coffee cat? You know, an apple cake a day keeps the doctor away. The whole thing, every day. Mm, now the content you've all been waiting for. My roommate's adorable, adorable dog. I love him. He's such a pretty boy. How beautiful. He was literally up and running around like just a minute ago, and then I started coming out this way. He was like, I'm not doing anything. I'll just lay down. Okay, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Bye.